Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here checking in. February 8th, 2020, about 12.05 p.m. And just a short time ago, had a uh, kind of a minor to moderate size earthquake there in Southern California. Nothing, you know, I wouldn't even really call it moderate, but uh, it's definitely a, a felt quake out there in Southern California, 3.9, striking at about two kilometers below the surface out there in the desert. Uh, take a look at this other map here. You can see the exact location of it, and that's going to be that little red circle indicating the earthquake in question here, the 3.9. Now, this is pretty much well south of the Ridgecrest area. Ridgecrest uh, sits up here to the north. San Andreas Fault System sits over to the southwest of this region, and that's going to be this uh, dark line that you've kind of seen over here uh, in the corner. So this 3.9 taking and striking in the North American continent uh, in a strange area. Of course, there's a, quite a bit of complex of faults down there in that area. Looks like this is kind of around the, uh, or at least close to the Thai Fort Mountain area, it looks like. Calico Mountains, just a lot of mountains in, in uh smaller fault systems out there but specifically right around this area I am not seeing any type of fault structures um, we can take a look at the satellite view um, and see exactly what's out there not like I say not a whole lot out there in the desert <clears throat> but quite a few folks did report filling it right around the Barstow California area like I said this is relatively shallow uh, two kilometers there kind of a little bit more shallow than we would normally see um, for an earthquake down there in Southern California so uh, it's just looks like there's some type of butte over here to the west possibly maybe some type of volcanic uh, dome from times in the past of course let's see what else is out there I don't know if those are houses or what Looks like they could be houses. But uh, anyway, right over at the epicenter, though, nothing to uh, observe. I don't believe there's any fracking type of operations within this area, at least within the vicinity. And like I mentioned, no fault structures, um, at least within the localized area here. So kind of interesting activity. Uh, I did want to take this back a couple days and show you the other activity that took place here in this region. So let's go back uh, seven days, all magnitudes here. And we'll continue with that. And you can see there on the map now <clears throat> a couple yellow earthquakes on the map indicating that this is, well, from quite a few days ago. It looks like on the well, maybe not a few days. It's over the 24-hour period, so um, looks like we had one on the 2nd of February, and then uh, on the 5th, a couple on the 5th, and then just recently the 3.9 on the 8th of February, which is today. And uh, so, yeah, a couple small earthquake activity. Uh, the 3.9 being the largest in this region over this small sequence. So a little bit of movement down there, not for sure exactly, like I said, the nearest fault structure in this area. Let's go ahead and go back off of the satellite view. We'll go back to, uh, well, grayscale's not good. Let's go back to terrain. And let's see what we got down here. I'm sure there's unnamed fault systems out there. But I just, I am not seeing any within the area that are really close by at all. So, anyway, um, yeah, not a whole lot to report on this specific quake. Although Barstow, like I said, sits down to the south a little ways. You can see it there on the map, um, but quite a few folks fill in it there. I've uh, been reported. So we'll continue to update you guys if need be. Uh, in the meantime, looking at the rest of the earthquake 3D globe here. 
shows a 3.9 being the latest earthquake on the globe up here in uh, northern Alaska or at least somewhere maybe it looks like central Alaska uh, interesting activity there off the coast of Oregon they did have a 4.7 earthquake uh, that took place a little bit earlier of course out there in the um, Pacific Ocean probably right there on the Juan de Fuca plate just off of it, it looks like uh, but nothing big in this region, just a little bit of increase, I would say, in activity um, than what we've seen for, for a while. So, But far as large quakes go, globally, not a lot. Down here on the southern part of the globe, they did have that 6.1 down near the South Sandwich Islands, I believe it is, down there. Let me get the exact coordinates on this thing here see what the USGS wants to put it at yeah 124 kilometers south southeast of the uh, Bristol Island South Sandwich Islands region so uh, that's about the largest quake here on the earthquake 3d globe but west coast like I said right now kind of showing an increase out there from Southern California Oregon and now up to Alaska so something to watch we will continue to monitor it uh, we are running the live stream right now so come on over and say hi if you're watching the update video. In the meantime, we'll be back here listening and watching and uh, enjoying this beautiful Saturday morning. Afternoon, I guess now. Have a good one, everyone. Stay safe.